Hello, this is Brandon Moon with Leland Fly Fishing. I want to welcome you tonight to Fly Tying Night. Tonight we're going to tie up something really simple, really fast, and effective. This is a black Frenchy nymph. Okay, the Frenchies are very, very effective. They were fished by the Frenchmen in competitions worldwide with great success, so they've been adapted and picked up by anglers across the world. So we're going to tie up a black version. We like dark colors. Black is a really good color for us. And so we're going to go ahead and tie that for you tonight. While we're doing that and putting the hook in the vise, I want to make sure that I invite you to like the video. Make sure you drop us a comment in the comment section. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell to receive future notifications. This is greatly appreciated by us as it helps us get our content seen by more people and it helps to build our channel and help us inspire more people as well. So with that, I'll go ahead and get started with the hook is the... Where is my damn thread? Hi, this is Brandon Moon with Leland Fly Fishing. I want to welcome you to Fly Tying Night tonight. Tonight we're going to be tying up the Frenchy Nymph pattern. This was created and used in the worldwide competitions by the Frenchmen to great success and has been taken and brought over and fished all across the world now. It's a very simple, effective pattern, so we'll go ahead and get started with that. As we're getting the hook in the vise, I want to make sure that I invite you to like the video. Make sure you leave us a comment in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button and the bell to receive future notification. This helps us get our content seen by more people as we're trying to help the community and we greatly appreciate your help and support there. With that, we're going to get started with the hook is a Moonlit Tagata Premium Barbless Hook. This is a size 14. Tie this in a size 10, 12, 14, and 16 as well. Very effective pattern. For the bead, I'm using a Moonlit Matte Black. This one is in a size 3.0 millimeter for the size 14. My thread is a 12 aught classic wax semper fly thread. So I'm just going to go ahead and start that behind my bead. And then I'm just going to use this tag end to create a nice smooth underbody as I wrap rearward. I want to create a nice good foundation to this fly. We're just going to wrap to the bend of the hook here. I'm just going to take a box knife blade, trim out that tag end, and we're good to go. For the body on this, I'm going to use black dyed pheasant tail. I'm going to get roughly about five, maybe six fibers. I'll try and get, a, get it to five, but I'm not going to spend all the time counting it. And then I'm going to measure this so that my tail is roughly the length of my hook shank. Set that to the side, wrap that and pull it up on top with my wrap. So you can see now I'm up on top. I'm going to pull these fibers back, put a wrap in front. Now I'm going to take Semperfly's tying wire in the two millimeter, in the, uh, yeah, two millimeter in the dark purple and I'm just gonna secure this down along the side of the hook shank 
we'll wrap that and secure it all the way down. I've got that piece going basically to that bead so that I have nice even body all the way through. Now I'm going to wrap that thread back. I'm going to wrap and push all the way back over the top to where my tail is with this pheasant, pheasant tail here. Now I'm going to take and create a taper with my thread going rearward. forward and backwards on this as I create a taper and I just want to create a little bit of a taper to this body and I don't want to try and do it with my pheasant tail I find it easier and better to do with my thread I get a more uniform even taper and I'll just do it you know four or five times whatever feels right now I'm just going to half hitch right behind that bead. Set my thread off to the side. I'm going to take my Loon ergonomical hackle pliers. I just started lifting weights today so my arms are tired and sore. Now I've got those in there. I'm going to twist these pheasant tail fibers just a little bit. I don't want to twist them too much. Now I'm just going to wrap them. And you can see I'm I am twisting to keep the pheasant tail fibers twisted. It kind of creates a little bit of a rope effect and it keeps them from splaying out on me. And that's just a technique that I like to do. I'm going to wrap that all the way up into the bead where I'm going to take and secure that down. Two over the top wraps, two wraps in front. That'll lock it all down. Now I'll trim that out. Half hitch this one more time. Now I'm going to counter wrap the pheasant tail. This is going to make it a more durable fly. I'm going to wrap over the top of this wire just secure it down. Now I'm going to helicopter this wire out. Gives me a nice clean break and I don't have to worry about ruining a pair of scissors. For the thorax I'm using black claret vicuna dubbing. You can see I've got some fibers there, but I'm going to cover them up so I'm not going to worry about them. Small pinches of this dubbing. I'm going to create a dubbing rope with this. As tight as I can get it. And that's why you don't want to use too much because then it is harder to get it to get a nice good tight rope on it. Now I'm just going to create my thorax here. A little too much dubbing there. Now all we got to do is whip finish this fly. So I'm going to take and do a three turn whip. 
one, two, three. And then we'll do it one more time just for good measure. One, two, three. And there you have it, all done. Our black Frenchie. I'm gonna trim that up just a little bit so I don't have some of these real long fibers. And now we've got this black Frenchie with good contrasting colors. It's gonna fish really well in the deep, deep waters. And you can see why the pheasant tail nymph, or tails on this work really good. Nice splayed tail there. So with that, again, I want to thank you and invite you to like the video. Make sure that you leave us a comment in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button and bell to receive future notification. And again, we appreciate your help in helping us get this content and video out to more people when you do that. And we look forward to seeing you again next week. Have a wonderful night.